Hey there native fish people. Uh, here's an update today. A lot of stuff going on in the fish room. Take a look here. Um, as you can see, I got all the tanks off the rack there. And uh, yeah, I've got other tanks now. So I'll have to show you this. It's going to be kind of a long update, so stick with me. Stream tank. Um, I'm getting a handle on all that black slime algae and or the black hair algae, whatever you want to call it. It's not really black beard, it's something else. It's slimy. And then uh, even the cyanobacteria, getting a hand on that. It's looking good. Fish are doing great. I mean, the color on the darters is, well, he's not that colored up right now. Boy, yesterday you should have been out here. They were freaking beautiful. Also, we got a couple black nose days in here now. Got a video coming up on how I got those here. So uh yeah, I keep watch. Oh, and I don't know if I had the green side darters last time I did it up night or not. There's two of those in there. But yeah, everybody's doing great. The tank's getting in shape. Finally getting a handle on this stuff. What I'm doing is every time I do a water change, I'm pulling it out by hand and it's it grows back fast. Buddy's been bringing over some of his water. So about every other water change, I, I get some of his water, and it's helping. It's, it's looking good. Underneath the, wait, the, the stream tank, I got a little 10-gallon down here, and this is where I took all the shrimp I had. I got all the cherry shrimp in here, the orange shrimp, the blue diamond shrimp. The blue diamond shrimp are very low grade. Well, some of them are high grade, but they're not breeding true, so I don't care. Cherry shrimp, yeah, they're low grade cherry shrimp. And the orange shrimp, it's just what I had left. I don't care. Had a couple endlers that were feeders for the gar that were still in the moss tank when I pulled them out, brought them in here. And I don't know if you see that little guy swimming right there. They've had two babies. But I'm just gonna let them down there. Uh, let the tank populate. I like the setup though. How do you like that, guys? That looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I got the plants in there. Uh, whatever. They're just going to become feeders anyway, so let them populate. I'll take them out there every now and then, throw some in the stream tank, and uh, the garters and stuff will like it. Um, got the 40 bow front set up. That's kind of a cool tank. Got this awesome looking stump driftwood in there. And I see the uh, tank that I had all the moss in is no longer there. Let's see what I got in here. I got some native moss here. I'm not exactly on the species. Um, I got a guy, uh, geez, I can't even think what you kind of call those guys that study mosses. Anyways, a uh, friend of mine, his uncle, does that and he's supposed to be coming Hi. over. Some but yeah, anyways, I got that. See the tank? It's got a lot of scratches in here. I wanted to uh, buff it out before I set it up, but I was running out of time. It's getting cold here in Ohio. Actually, this week's been really nice. It's been in the 70s every day, so I've been doing a lot of work. And But yeah, that's why, but maybe I'll still get that buffed out. My Gar is in here now. He's, uh, oh heck, seven and a half to eight inches now. He's growing. Got some hornwort in the corner there. That over there is watercress, native watercress. For the love of me, I can't think of the scientific name but I will put it somewhere in the video. Uh, yeah, the gar is temporary in here until I get the 180 straightened up. I'm redoing it, so yeah. We'll get to that here later. But yeah, I really like how this tank has come together. It's looking really nice. I don't know if the water crust is gonna stay in there. I might do something else. It's all brown on the bottom, see that? Because that's what it was when I first collected it that's the old growth and it's just kind of melting away with the new stuff within a week it's went from where that brown line is to the top of the tank this stuff growing like a weed all right uh, new tank number two the 20 gallon long check this thing out this is kind of a cool little tank I really enjoy this tank my light fell apart but anyways well I got a lot of reflection coming from somewhere you know bear with me I'll get it figured out here no that ain't it Let's see, is this working? Yeah, I guess. Maybe if I hang on. I am sorry about this. 
Oh, there we go. Much better. Check this background. I call this my undercut bank background. It sticks out. Look at that. It's cool. I got some stumps going on in there. It makes it look like a root wad. It's so kind of a dark tank, but I like it. Uh, actually, I have two sculpins in here, about two to three inches each. And uh, they're, for the life of me, they're probably hiding well. See them right there? So will it focus or not? No, nope, it's not going to. Yeah, right there, you can see his face. He's up there on the log. That's one. And then there's another one. He usually hangs out back in here somewhere. But yeah, that's this is a really cool tank. I like it a lot. I'm trying to think of something else to put in here to liven it up a little bit. That I don't know. Kind of goes with the theme, you know, the undercut bank tank thing. Really awesome tank. I am still getting a lot of glare. Oh, I see. It's the tank behind me. Oh, that's much better, huh? But yeah, here, I'll just pan around and you can check it out. That's more of that native moss back there on the shelf. Oh, and I got my spray bar. It's hidden right there. There's a nice flow going across the bottom. You can't really see it unless one of the fish are out in there, but yeah. That's the 20 long undercut bank tank. Pretty sweet, huh? I was thinking maybe some black nose dace in there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, the 10 gallon hexagon tank uh, with the glass shrimp, the native glass shrimp. Everything's growing great. Festivus moss is starting to turn, is growing. Got there, down there, and that's native festivus I collected myself. Uh, let's see, where, well, there's a shrimp right here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Here's one. Man, these guys are cool. I really like them. Neat little guys. Man, and do they like to eat, but yeah. This thing's looking good. Got some native Elodea, Elodea canad, canadensis. Is the name on there? Jungle Val. I uh, got this little uh, native plant. What is it? A ptomagetan or whatever is the name? A type. So, yeah. And the bow front, the 72. I knew I said I was going to do a Florida spring tank, but the more I thought about it, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, yeah, short on funds, you know how it is. Fixed income, you know. Disabled here, but anyways, no more about that. But anyways, I decided that was going to be the Dace tank. And then there I got me a school of Southern Red Belly Dace, a small school of uh, Red Side Dace, four Orange Throat Darters, five Johnny Darters, two top uh, black striped top minnows and three brook sticklebacks in there right now. I'm trying to think of a centerpiece fish. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, over here I got the watercress, the native watercress. This over here was looking just the same as it was in the little bow front. But yesterday I took, cut all that dead brown off and replanted. And that will be at the top of the tank again here in probably a week. I mean, it shoots fast. That stuff's awesome thing is though I don't know if it's gonna grow forever because from what I read it's a cold water plant likes temperatures below 70 degrees but right now it's great the garage is unheated so tanks are right around 65 70 degrees got this epic piece of driftwood in there water's looking a little green right now because I it, it this is a dirty tank and I'm, I'm getting quite a bit of uh, I'm getting a little algae bloom going on but don't worry I'm taking care of it it's not bad I got chunks of fest in his moss there's some. It's just starting to kick out. It was kind of brown, but we're getting some new growth on it. Looks great. Jungle Val in the back right there. I got this plant. Um, I don't think it's native, but I did collect it myself. To me, it's kind of looking like a high growth phyla uh, polysperma or something like that. I think that's why I always say it. I'm not sure, but that's what it's kind of looking like to me, but I'm not 100% sure because it's kind of getting tall. From what I read, that stuff stays kind of short, you know. So I'm not sure. I'm still looking. I will figure it out and uh, let you guys know. Uh, some more Elodea can canadensis and more of that Potomac getting or whatever. However you pronounce that. It's a pond plant type deal. I thought it was hair grass when I collected because it, it was really short. 
and the stream I collected from there is a lot of hair grass in there and I thought that's what it was it so I collected it got it home I planted it kind of looked like hair grass because I mean it was only two inches tall and then it started growing and started splitting and getting tall so I now I know it's not but I will be getting some hair grass here shortly but yeah I mean there's a red side dace southern red belly dace there here's a Johnny darter well where'd he go oh there he is Johnny darter there uh, what else can I find in here there's a an orange throat sitting right there nobody's colored up right now because I mean it's fall everything's kind of looking drab water temperatures aren't really that warm in the tank so not much different from where I collected them uh, I don't know if I can find any of the sticklebacks or not in there but don't worry about that you're gonna see some sticklebacks oh there's one back there Sam well we get that day out of the way but yeah there's a stickleback back there hiding and speaking of sticklebacks let's look at the next tank Excuse the noise here. Oh, excuse me there. 20 long stickleback tank. I had, I believe, 10 juvenile brook sticklebacks in here. It might be a little bit more once they get older, as you can see, they're <laughs> territorial. They're, these are nasty little fish, man. For the size, they will tear the shreds out of a larger fish. I haven't had any troubles in the 72 yet because everything stays out in the front and the brook sticklebacks in that tank hide. But yeah, I got this wicked cool piece of driftwood. Got some pheasants moss on the top there. I got a bunch of willow moss growing there. Hopefully it fills in that whole corner. That'd be kind of cool. Um, some more of the Elidea. And this cool plant, I think it's an emergent plant. Is where I found it. I mean, it was in the water. There was some that was submerged in about four inches of water, so I don't know if it's going to grow. We'll find out. Um, yeah, let's take a look at these sticklebacks. These guys are cool. I really like them. Ornery little things, but I don't think I'm going to put anything else in here because with 10 sticklebacks in this small of a tank, things are bound to get pretty nasty. I mean, right now they're being ornery. They're trying to uh, set up territories. I think once they get a little bigger, I'm going to have to thin them out a little bit. I don't know why this ain't focusing very good, but... Hey, here he goes. He's coming to the front. Check us out, man. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. 20 long Brooks Stickleback Tank. I like it. It's a nice little tank. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, uh, and then let me stand up here. I'm gonna turn the light on because I don't have a light on the 180 right now because it is being drained. I'm redoing this whole tank. Took everything out of it, redoing it. Uh, the hybrid sunfish is gonna go back in there, possibly the gar, and I think I'm getting three brown trout from a friend of mine. He has a quarry that's spring fed and he, he just bought this property and he's stocking it with some brown trout. So as soon as he gets his order in, I'm probably going to go over there and snag a few. He said that's cool. I probably only keep it through the winter time since the tank's going to get probably too warm once summer gets in here and the garage heats up. But uh, he told me once I get done with them, bring them back over and we can release them in his quarry. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I pulled out tons of jungle valve. And I'm thinking, I'm probably gonna sell some of it. I don't know if I need that much. And if I do, you know what? I'll probably sell a few packages of it. I'll probably give you, I don't know, maybe for 10 bucks, I'll stuff a box full, free shipping. And for 10 bucks, just go to my Native Fish Keepers uh, Facebook page, like it, and send me a message saying you'd like some of the Jungle Val. And, uh, I'll give you my PayPal account, send me 10 bucks, and I will mail it out. And I'll, I'll probably throw, I don't know, 10, 15 plants in there for you, maybe more. Probably got enough for at least five orders, plus some left for me for what I want to do. So yeah, if you want that, let me know. Like I said, like the 
Native Fish Keepers Facebook page and message me that way. So that way I get it in there. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then the quarantine tank is full right now. When I went and did some fish collecting, I didn't want to collect as many fish, but my buddy was like freaking out and he threw a bunch of minis and stuff in the bucket, but they're not minnows. I've got black nose dace in there and southern red belly dace and some silver shiners and a few creek chubs. I don't need this much, so what I'm thinking about doing here, I know I'm coming up on uh, about 2,000 subscribers here. I'm about 100 and I don't know, 15 away. I think once we hit that mark, I'm going to have a contest of some sort. Not sure exactly how, and the winner of the contest is going to get a package of some southern red, southern red belly dace. I mean, if you guys would like, are you interested in that? If you guys would, anybody would like a package of those, let me know, and we'll set up some kind of contest and get things going. But yeah, there's a bunch in there. There's a bunch of black nose dace hiding behind the sponge filter back there, and then you got red belly dace everywhere. So yeah, I, I may, you know, do a couple packages for somebody, maybe the two winners or something, I don't know. But yeah, wait till we get 2,000 subscribers. These guys in quarantine, so they'll be ready to go for you. Um, yeah, and I'll have a contest and winner get some red belly days if you guys like. If not, well, maybe figure something else out, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's the update. Uh, and I'll keep you guys updated once I get the 180 set up completely. Also, I'll probably just do a special one on that one. But yeah, if you like what you see, thanks for watching. Uh, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Bye.